advice of the day, check your memory cards before you leave the house. This is the way. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Chopper Fetch. Hello. My name is Brett, and we make the motorcycle videos and motorcycle vlogs here. So what are we doing today on the old V-Rod? Well, trying to get over a little bit of a depression. And when I say depression, I don't mean real depression. I mean, I'm kind of in a funk. The funk soul brother. Check it out now. The funk soul brother. Right about no, not like that kind of funk either. It's just I've seen a lot of good content coming from a lot of good channels. And I feel like I don't have the time to do what they do. Some of the channels that I would like to shout out in regards to this would be people like Walton PA, Black Phoenix Entertainment, Salty and Sprinkles, Seltzer Pendants, Big Smitty Riding, just to name a few. Hey, there's my shout outs for the year. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. But no, definitely check out those channels because not only are they good friends of mine, but they really put out solid content. Now, what kind of content do they put out? They put out stuff that is typical like this is here, where it's just a standard motor vlog. But man, it seems like they go on so many more adventures than I'm able to do. I'm going on an adventure! And maybe it's not really a depression thing, more of a jealousy thing. It's just, it's hard. It's hard when you feel guilty leaving the house for an all day thing, or you spend so much time filming and editing that it takes away time from the family. I have that guilt. What do you want if you mind? My wife has even said, don't feel that way. It's fine, but I can't help it. Like even this morning here, it's a Sunday morning, and basically she said you can go ride you can take your time do whatever but i feel like if i'm gone for more than an hour bad things will happen at home i don't know i i can't get over the mental block that it's okay to take some time to myself and it is a tough block to get over so those other channels like i said they do their typical moto vlogs they do that but then they do so much more. It seems like they're always going out of town. They're doing some sort of poker run or scavenger hunts. And guys, they put on a phenomenal show. Their editing is on point. Uh, another one to shout out is Reese's Rides. I know she hasn't put out much recently, but she is another one that just, the editing and everything is just top notch. I need to get back to that frame of mind because for a while and maybe i will get there and it'll just take me getting to the winter season winter is coming winter is coming and winter is coming because in the winter season i don't ride nearly as much so i can edit more i guess you could say but in the summertime it's the best i could do to record and publish just a standard moto vlog there might be a few episodes that are a little bit more creative, such as the comparison videos and things of that nature. But I just want to do so much more with the channel. A few weeks ago, I even asked, what do you guys want to see? Because I don't know, like, is this entertaining for you? I feel like for a lot of people, this is probably up. I watched it for a minute, blabble on about depression and being not able to do stuff i'm gonna go ahead and click off completely understand if you did this is more just a self-event session for me to kind of get over some things i'm trying as i'm talking to you i'm working out things in my head as far as new sort of concepts i mean at least i am adding like the 360 camera like right here to help keep the eye candy going but man it's just been a really, really tough time lately. And so for you guys who do have channels that you're able to operate and do so on a 
very good basis. How do you do it with with family? I just maybe you all have kids that are grown. Maybe you don't have kids at all. I don't know. I'm not saying I would ever want to do this over being a father or a husband. I'm not saying that. I'm not trying to sound like some pompous jackass. It's just, you kind of get to these little ruts. And it's how you break out of them. It seems about once a year, I get into one of these ruts. And it's always right after I've pretty much hit my one year mark. So right now I have hit my two year mark and I'm kind of like, what do I do to do out of this? I don't know. And that sounds like a really nagging voice. That's, that's the voice that's in my head that says, if I don't get home, that's what you're going to hear. And I won't. My wife is completely understanding of all this. So I don't know. I, I talked it over with her and over like the Labor Day weekend. Don't you know you're not supposed to wear white after Labor Day? She's like, if you need to go out and film and feel you need to get that creative bug flowing again, I want you to take the day and honestly, 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 don't feel guilty about it. So I think I'm going to attempt to do that. Again, it's not something I am comfortable doing because that's just how I am made. As of recording this anyway, I haven't even done the reveal video for the Triumph. And yeah, the Triumph reveal has been, what, out for a few weeks now, probably. Hopefully, maybe. I don't know when this is actually being published either. But it's one of those things where it's just like, I need, I need like four hours of just doing nothing that will allow me to go out film and try to work out a storyboard, etc. in my head. But I don't know. It's one of those things where... I should be blessed to be where I'm at. You know, I got a good following. I made some really awesome friends doing this. And that's the most important part. The fact that my wife is so understanding. I really just need to sometimes just take a step back, back and say, dude, you are truly blessed to be in the situation you're in. You and your wife are in a good situation. You have two beautiful kids. You have good jobs. You have four motorcycles in the garage. Stop your witching with the beat. <laughs> keeping it friendly. Keeping it friendly. Uh, but no, I hope you guys are uh, okay with this little uh, rant here. It's not really a rant. It's more of uh, getting some thoughts off my chest. Oh, you are hairy like animal. Good, baby. Very good. Because... Uh, I'm not good at communicating usually to people, <laughs> my wife, about things. So maybe she'll see this and kind of know more about what I'm uh, going through personally anyway. Uh, that being said, though, I will go ahead and catch you guys on the next Dark Side because this is the way. Thanks for listening to me a bit. Later!